Uh, we just watched like the best Alfred Hitchcock movie ever in 3D. No, probably not the best one ever, but um, it was Dial M for Murder in 3D, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen um, in 3D. I mean, I've seen The Lion King in 3D, which is pretty cool, but second best thing in 3D I've ever seen. Actually, no, we saw Tangled in 3D, didn't we? Yeah, that was pretty cool too. Frying pan. This movie was full of awesome intenseness and really funny parts. There was this like guy about to go out with like a purse. Spoilers, sorry, you know. If you're like a thousand years too late for this movie. Um, but this is this guy. He's about to come out with a purse and he's like I don't know, he's like got this girl's handbag trying to prove like something to the police station. And they're all like Oh, I'm gonna prove it, and blah blah blah. So the the police officer is going like with the handbag, this girl's handbag, and one of the cops is like, "Oh, I know, I'm getting distracted." Anyways, the, the cops is like, "You can't go out in town like that. You'll be arrested. <laughs> You'll be arrested." And it's like because you got a purse, and I don't know. I guess back then, I mean, people were really big into stealing purses. That doesn't make sense, but I also thought. You'll be arrested. You will be arrested for cross-dressing or something. I'm not oh, sure yeah, if that was a big thing. I was thing. totally down with him being arrested. Yeah, I thought, I thought. yeah, I thought he was going to be arrested because he was cross-dressing, but, you know, it was like the 30s or the 20s or something. I don't know how big they were into cross-dressing back then. Apparently, it was a thing, and it has been a thing since forever, but, you know, I don't know how long it's been acceptable. Nice. But I like... I like I that. Right Look, it's a sausage company. Sausage company. Oh, I got some really cool things. So I recently invested in some video recording sunglasses. They were like 20 bucks, which is awesome. Thanks to Nerds RL for letting me know that, it, that that technology was available in this day and age. It's really dark, and you can't see me, so I'm going to go. So last night, you guys... Uh, no, I went to see Dial M for Murder by Alfred Hitchcock, which was awesome. Um, and I try to tell you guys about this funny part of the story. So, I have found it on the internet. So I cannot trip up on my words because I'm really bad at speaking. So... <laughs> and another really funny line that was in the movie. One of the other really good lines that um, was in the movie, um, Mr. Swan, one of the characters, uh, and Tony are having a conversation and Swan says smart aren't you and Tony says no not really I've just had time to think things out put myself in your position that's why I know you're going to agree Swan says what makes you think I'll agree Tony says for the same reason that a donkey with a stick behind him and a carrot in front always goes forwards and not backwards and Swan says tell me about the carrot I'm addicted to this stupid game Look at all the dead bugs out here. The dead spider. I think I'm gonna bring you guys on my trip to the store because I'm gonna spray myself in the face a lot, actually, with this <laughs> spray bottle. It's just water, and it's really nice because when you're hot, you and. I'm going to spray it at Corey and it's going to be really funny. Because <laughs> you guys get to see the funny face he makes when, when I spray him. Like that. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a second. So 
gitu. Anyways, it's really hot still. It's still summer. Um, if that wasn't clear by the canoeing person down the river, it's still summer. It's still hot. And <clears throat> we just got back from the store and we're about to go inside and listen to WTFR radio. Or, well, WTFR radio is kind of redundant. Um, WTF radio, live and whatnot. <laughs> There's Corey bringing up the ATM machine and how it's redundant. But it is an ATM machine. I mean, it is. Anyways, it says it's an ATM and it's a machine, so you would naturally think ATM machine, right? If you didn't know the M actually stood for machine, because I thought the M stood for money. Shows how much I know. Oh, speaking of. Huh? A and the T, I don't know. Speaking of unintelligent uh, money. Speaking of unintelligent people, well not really unintelligent, just I guess um what's that word? <laughs> uh ignorant. There we go. Ignorant people. Um Don't mind me. <laughs> just talking to my video camera. Um, anyways. Um Speaking of ignorance, there was this girl on Facebook who was posting like this thing about, oh, Facebook is going to start charging, repost this, and then your Facebook icon will turn blue, and then you won't get charged, and blah, 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 blah. And I responded like, why do people post this kind of crap? In all caps, by the way, um, it's not true. Um, if you like Google Facebook and charging... You get the exact same thing and it will tell you that it's a scam and just a, a pretty much a chain letter. And I wonder why people do this. And then this girl continues to get mad at me and then she says like, oh, I never friend requested you. I don't even know who you are and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so it was just fun and unentertaining. Not worth it. Keys are in this pocket. Other pocket. Anyways, she was a total word that I'm not going to say about it, so that was fun. Um, I would copy and paste the description somewhere, or the conversation, but I unfriended her because she's a, well, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to listen to this radio show that's still on. forgot to turn off when I got home. Or when I left. Wow, I'm words bad. Not happening. Okay, bye. I'm recording this because there's a satellite falling from space to Earth. And it's supposed to impact uh, somewhere near Canada. Um, but no, it's apparently going to fall like somewhere um, between like Canada and Africa. But there's also like the, the NASA site said that they were, it was skirting Washington. It's the alien Which, landing, um, man. skirting Washington is us, like Oregon. Portland is like right next to Vancouver, Washington, which is scary because I'm thinking, okay, well, where's it actually going to fall? And apparently it's like, um, I don't know. There's lots of reports that I'm, I'm trying to keep up with, but apparently it's supposed to happen like in the next few minutes. So I'm kind of scared, but on the, at the same time, they say the odds are very, well, kind of slim. Um, not exactly as slim as we'd like. Um less, or more of an odd winning the, or more of an odd getting hit by space junk than winning the Powerball. Um, so that's sad. Um, uh, scared. So let's see what NASA has to say now. Let's see if there's anything updating. So I've been like, everything that I hear, like airplanes and cars and everything, I'm like, is that the space junk? So we'll see what happens. If I don't upload this, then um, you'll know that I get hit by it. Oh Shut up. Oh that my is God. rude. <laughs> my space junk fear. The aliens are invading. I'm scared, everyone. But if I upload this, then you'll know I'm okay. All right. Good night.